I spoke in a previous video on the subject of empathy and how I believe that um, empathy for a sufferer and rage against the perpetrator are pretty much mutually exclusive things. You can't feel them both at the same time. And I'm willing to debate that point, actually. Um, now, I would like to actually examine the subject of anger in and of itself, um, particularly anger against uh, the evils in the world. We know that there's plenty of bad things in this world. We know there are plenty of people behaving badly. What do we do about it? Well, um, there's that serenity prayer that comes to mind. Um, Lord, give me the uh, strength to change things I can change, uh, tolerate the things that I can't tolerate, and uh, the wisdom to know the difference or something like that. I don't know how it works, but it's on everybody's refrigerator. Um, I think that that, uh, that quote is a lot wiser than people seem to realize. You can take the God out and it's still just as valid. Um, and the reason why I bring that into it is the fact that anger is pretty much an impotent and useless exercise. It doesn't accomplish anything. Um, y whether you're angry or not, the situation that has angered you uh, is still there. It can spur you on to action, but when you when you spurred on, uh, spurred on to action while you're angry, you're blinded. Everyone knows that, uh, that rage will blind you and prevent you from behaving effectively in the world. Um, also, rage and anger, uh, if held on to for too long and not dealt with uh, healthily, will turn in upon you. In fact, it might turn in upon you the second you start to feel it. Depression itself is often described or even um, spoken of by uh, people who are far more qualified than I to say these things. It's often spoken of as an inner directed anger, an anger against oneself, which is why the depressed often are um, obsessed by fantasies of self-harm or they commit actual acts of self-harm anger against oneself, the relentless beating of uh, beating up of oneself, that in many ways is depression. Um, and that's why I say that anger is useless and it is actually toxic. It doesn't help you actually dealing with the uh, stuff in the world that makes you angry, and it actually hinders you from doing so. And one of the interesting things about anger is there are very few people that ever attempt to say that it does anyone any good, but they resort to other arguments, i.e., you'd be angry too if you were in my position, which is possibly true, but that doesn't alter the fact that anger is still destructive. Um, if um, I had uh, uh, a hot piece of iron apl applied to the sh sole of my foot, I would be in agony, and so would you. So that, it, it still doesn't say that how I'm benefiting from either of these. Um, also, people say, it's my right to be angry. I have every right to be angry. You have every right to feel any emotion you want. I'm not going to dispute that. What I will say, however, is that it's not doing you any good at all. I'm not asking you whether or not it's your right to do it. Um, it's like the smoker who says, this is my right, this is my body. I have every right to do this. I don't dispute that. Of course you do. It's your body. Who, who, who on earth am I to tell you what to do with your own body? Don't try to tell me it's good for you. Thank you.